time hello kids let's learn about the concept of time how long does it take how long does it take to build a house lot of time building a house can take a long time a long time how long does it take for a baby plant to grow into a big tree a long time a long time some things takes less time like blinking your eyes Blinking your eyes takes less time. Less time. Clapping your hands takes less time. Okay. Clicking on the mouse button takes less time. Less time. Can you tell me what takes more time and what takes less time? Brushing your teeth or bathing? Brushing your teeth takes less time. Bathing takes more time. What takes more time and what takes less time? Washing your hands or clapping? Washing your hands takes more time. Clapping takes less time. Yes, washing your hands takes more time than clapping. What takes more time? Winking? or sleeping sleeping takes more time winking takes less time yes sleeping takes more time and winking takes less time so what is time time can be defined as the duration in which all things happen or a precise instant at which something happens the basic unit of time is second we measure time in seconds minutes hours days months years and so on we measure time using clocks and calendars seconds minutes hours and days so, let's learn about second. How long is a second? Blinking your eyes once takes a second. Clapping your hand once can take a second. Throwing a ball also takes a second. Seconds. Now, how long is a minute? 60 seconds make one minute. 60 seconds make one minute. Things like brushing your hair or singing your nursery rhyme could take a minute. Okay. How long is an hour? 60 minutes make one hour. 60 minutes make one hour. Your swimming lessons could take an hour or walking your dog could take an hour. Okay. Now, let's learn about a day. How long is a day? 24 hours makes one day. 24 hours make one day. In other words, a day is 24 hours long. A day is 24 hour period starting from one midnight to the next. Let's divide a day into two equal halves of 12 hours each. The midpoint is called noon or midday. The first 12 hours is called before noon. We use AM to tell time starting from midnight to noon. AM 
The second half of the day is called afternoon. We use PM to tell time starting from noon to midnight. PM You might have heard someone say, Get ready, your school starts at 8 in the morning. That is 8 a.m. And your swimming classes are at 4 in the afternoon. That is 4 p.m. You do lots of activities in a day. Let's sort them by a.m. and p.m. When do you wake up for school? In the a.m. At 6 a.m. When do you have your breakfast? In the a.m. At 7 a.m. When do you go to school? In the a.m. At 8 a.m. When do you read with your teacher? In the a.m. At 10 a.m. When do you do your homework? In the p.m. 6 p.m. When do you have your dinner? In the p.m. 7 p.m. When do you go to bed? In the p.m. 8 p.m. When do you see the moon? In the p.m. Now, let me ask you something. How do you know what time of the day it is? Mm, how do I find out? We use clocks. Clocks? We measure and tell time using clocks. Clocks are devices used to measure time indicating hours, minutes and seconds. Okay. Hope you had fun learning about the concept of time. Please subscribe. Please watch our next video on how to read clocks. It was fun. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.